Hello and welcome to the Focus Hoops Women's EuroLeague Bubble Breakdown. I'm Darren Paul and I'll be talking you through Group D, the players to watch, games of the group, etc. So, first of all, what is EuroLeague? EuroLeague is the main women's club basketball competition in Europe. It features top 16 teams from across the continent and the best players in the world. Some people even argue it's the greatest league in the world. Now, this year... Uh, teams are split into four groups of four, and each group is playing its games in a one-hub, single location. There is no home and away, no travel, but limited home advantage. Limited being the operative word. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, the second round of games starts on the 18th of January until the 25th of January. Each team plays each other twice. There are six games. Now, each team receives one point for a loss, two points for a win. The top two teams of each group qualify and go into the quarterfinals. They'll be held on the 17th to the 19th of March with the semifinals and finals in April. The final four, 16th to the 18th of April. All the games are streamed live on the FIBA YouTube channel. So why don't you, after you've given our channel a subscribe and maybe even a like and a comment on this video, you head over to their YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button too. They've got an amazing catalogue of men's and women's basketball and all of that for free all this action that we're about to say about so group d it's been held in bourges france but we're going to tip off looking at sopron basket they are top of the group they have a four and O record they've beaten bourges uh, 60 to 70 they beat landes 59 70 they beat Galatasaray 69-66 and then Galatasaray again two days later, 58-70. So they, uh, well, their ticket has been punched to the next round. Where they finished is yet to remain to be seen. Last season, they uh, didn't make it out of the groups with a 6-8 and eight record. This season, though, in their native Hungary, 17-0 in the league. They are doing Big business. Why are they doing big business, you ask me? Well, let's look at a couple of their key players. Firstly, Gabby Williams of the Chicago Sky. She is such a consistent performer. 16.5 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists. She had a 19-5-3 against Borges. She's been doing everything. Huge uh, point scorer and general engine to this team. She's fantastic. The next player. Uh, Tina Krajinik, 10.58 and basically no assists a game. She had 18 and 9 against Galatasaray. She's a Serbian international. She's got plenty of experience. And again, another huge part of why this team is doing well. Another Serbian international, Jelena Brooks, 13, 5.3 and 1. But against Landes, she came in with a huge 18, 8 and 1. Now, I've just spoken about three players. They've all had big games, but they've had big games against different sides. So every night we're seeing a different player stepping up and making the impact where it counts. That's why Sopros are 4-0, and and that's why they're unbeaten in domestic competition in Hungary as well. Fun thing about uh, Brooks, was drafted to WNBA to Washington 2004. Fortunately, never played a game. She has made a fantastic career in Europe, however. So that's Sopron. Now, Basket Landes. They have a, a one and one record. Last season, they played Euro Cup, not Euro League, and they made the semi finals. In France, they have an eight and one record. They are trailing in the uh, French League. Who are they training, trailing? Well, we'll talk about them in just a moment. Their key players are Miranda Ayim. 12.5 points, 9.5, 1.5 rebound per game. Canadian uh, international. So she won the 2017 America Cup in Buenos Aires, which I think for me is my favourite basketball competition I've ever watched. Against Bourget, she had 14, 9 and 3. That is a huge, huge performance. She also had double-double against Sopron. Next player to talk about, Valerian. Vuka Sajevic, 12 and a half points, 10.5 rebounds, and 1.5 assists. Again, another French international, 
double double in both games played so far. Uh, fun fact about here, played for Gonzaga. So obviously, great pedigree in college, great pedigree playing professionally in Europe. Again, coming up big for her side. Will she come big in the final four games? Do enough to get her side into the quarterfinals? We will see. Finally, Abby Guy. Nine points, 6.5 rebounds, no assists. Again, French. Uh, she had 12-6-0 and 0 against Sopron. So, again, against the tough teams. She's bringing points. Good number of rebounds. But for this side, for Basket Landes to really excel in this competition and beyond the group stage if they make it, they're going to need a little bit more from her and quite a lot more from another of their teammates. Now, Borges, the hosts of the competition. Now, they're 0-2, which is a tricky situation to be in, but all is not lost. There are four games yet to play, and that loss that they suffered at the hand of Basket Landes, 69-66, that went to overtime. Now, the 10-point loss to Sopron, that's not ideal, and they've got to play Sopron again, of course. But if they do the business in the rest of the games, who knows how they will fare. They're currently top of the French League 10 and 0 record, and they made the quarterfinals of this competition last season. Who are a couple of their key players that you need to get informed about? Well, a couple of French players here. First off, we've got Alexis Chateau, 18, 10, and 2. She's young, 22 years old. She had a monster performance against Landes, 21 points, 14 rebounds, one assist. And uh, her pedigree is pretty high. Two Eurobasket silver medals so far in her young career. Really excited to see where she goes. Wonder if we're ever going to see her playing in the WNBA. Next up is Isabel Yukubu, 12, 5, and 0. Oh, she's a center, 34 years old, French, very experienced, 18, 7, and 0 oh versus Sopron. And again, it's the tougher sides putting up those kind of numbers. That's really impressive. She is going to be very important if. Borges Basket want to make it out of the group. And finally, the last player, again, another young French player, 23 years old, Alex Duchette, seven and a half points, three rebounds, three and a half assists. So not enormous numbers, but making contributions, finding ways to contribute. Even if the scoring is not there, his shooting percentage is down on a few you know, players that you expect to see in this key players bracket, but she contributes in other ways and her long-term career trajectory is really exciting. She had eight, one and six against Landes. So again, six assists, that's a really healthy number in FIBA competition. Struggling with the scoring, like I said, but finding ways to contribute. Now the final team from Turkey, it is of course Galatasaray. They've started and they've struggled. Oh, and two, they are 15 and two. In Turkey, uh, last season in a Euro Cup, they didn't make it out of the group stage where they finished with a 3-3 three and three record. I think it's fair to say that they uh, improved on last season. Let's have a look at a couple of their performances. They lost by three points to Sopron, 69-66 uh, in the first matchup. In the second matchup, they lost 58-70. to 70. But that's Sopron out of the way. Arguably, the toughest games in the group. They've got Four games against the remaining two French sides. So who's to say that if they win all four games, they're certainly through. The difficulty will be is if they lose and it comes down to a three and three record. Maybe they've got another three and three record in the group. They're going to need to seriously impress and put on a big win over somebody for that points differential. But we will see how they go. Now, they've had a bit of a difficult one with the key players. You'll see Angel McCautry on there. And Angel McCautry is a great signing, great player, just made it all the way to the WNBA playoff final. But unfortunately, she's had to come in to replace Courtney Williams. That is right, Hollywood, C. Will, who was averaging 11.5 points, five rebounds, 4.5 assists, and just one of the most electrifying players in women's basketball. She's had to leave the team. She's had a family bereavement, has had to head home which is really unfortunate. She had 15-7-1 and one in one of those games against Sopron, so a big performer. But Angel McCautry, like I said, just joined the team. Here's a fun little fact. She played four seasons for Fenerbahce, 
who's Fenerbahce, if you're not aware, the biggest rival of Galatasaray. So this is a little bit fun. Like I said, just made the playoff finals. This season, she had 14-5-2 as her regular uh, season performance in Vegas, averaging 20 minutes a game. So Bill Lambert lent on her quite heavily. Uh, in her uh, debut against Birivem Elazig, she came up with a 14-4-1. So roughly in line with her WNBA average. And that's without playing basketball for a good few months. So really excited to see what Angel McCautry can bring. Mercedes Russell, more WNBA. A WNBA champion with Seattle, averaging 13-5-0 so far. Now, her best performance against Sopros was a 17-5. and High scoring percentage, again, as you'd expect from a player of her calibre. It's going to have to perform really big in these last four games if Galatasaray want to make it out of the group stages. But she's capable and they're capable. Final one, Annette Steinberger, Latvian international, 17, uh, sorry, 13, 7 and 2 and a half assists. She had a huge first game against Sopros, 19 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. If she can keep contributing on the glass and in the scoring, then again, Galatasaray, we're going to have a really good shot of making out of this group. This is such a tight group. Anyone can be anyone. Now, what's my game to watch? Well, to be honest, pick any. Pick any of these games. The one that I've got earmarked, though, is the French derby, of course. It's Landes versus Bourget. The first game went to overtime. This game could, could determine who makes it out the group stages. It's going to be really exciting. It's happening on Sunday, the 24th of January. It's a, a, a 2.20 Central European time tip-off. So that's 1.20 UK time. In America, you're in for a really early start, depending exactly where you live. So that's it for Group D. Pick a team, get watching on the FIBA YouTube channel. Look out for the rest of our videos on Group A, B, and C if you haven't seen them already. And don't forget, join us live every Thursday, 8 p.m. for the Kaz and Daz show, where we're going to cover the EuroLeague, WNBA, free agencies just around the corner, the WNBL and the WBBL, as well as we go to Kaz's corner and we look at all types of women's basketball all over the world. That is on the Focus Hoops YouTube and Facebook. If you enjoyed this video, Give us a like. And if you like the sound of one of these teams and you think they could be my European team, my EuroLeague team, let us know in the comments down below who you've gone for and maybe why. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Focus. And don't forget, we will see you Thursday.